Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the elements that are visible on your map screen. So I recently had a customer reach out and he was having a hard time seeing his points on the screen because his point descriptions were blocking the screen and he was having a hard time seeing them. So this is, in my opinion, the best solution to either A, declutter your screen, or B, make your points easier to see on the screen. And how I'm going to go about that is I've laid out five points so you, so you can see um, a very obvious example of this. And you can see that my point descriptions are overlapping in a couple spots uh, and they're quite large. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring this size down. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to head to the top right corner of my screen where those three switches are, and I'm going to click on that option, and then you're gonna see it's going to bring up my options menu here. And you can see I've got multiple different um, elements that I can change underneath my map configurations. So you can see here that I got show ID, show description, show elevation. So if I want those shown on the screen, I can either check them if I want them to be seen or uncheck them if I don't want to be seen. So in this case, I'm just gonna uncheck the show ID button and then I'm also gonna change the text size on my map view to something smaller. So in this case, I'm gonna change it to a text size of five. And if you scroll down here, you can see I've got a couple different options, map position select, uh, map line select, that kind of thing. But in this case, I'm only gonna change my show ID option and my text size option. So I'm gonna hit okay there in the bottom left corner. And you can see now that my text is significantly smaller on the screen and I no longer have the point ID shown as well. So my screen is now significantly easier to see my points and easier to see my line work. And if you want to undo those options, obviously head back to those three switches and uh, just undo what you did previously. And that is all for today's video. And I would ask you if you have a moment, if you could please hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out quite a bit and helps me keep making these how-to videos for you guys. And please remember, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or anything on our YouTube channel, please just give us a holler at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.